Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's Design Your Own Titan contest, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a new Titan called Mountainer. Now this is a big, tall Titan, almost a little bit of like a Godzilla and a Warback combo, but there's definitely some really cool features. He's got some really cool armored plates on him, he's got a really crazy sharp tail, and I think you're going to really enjoy this. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Now to start off with Titan Mountainer, we're going to begin with the face. So let's start up here at the eye. Let's begin by making a line that's going to go down and then back up for a check mark. Then we'll bring this down and up to get the eye. Underneath the eye, I like to add a little curved line or two just for a little bit of extra detail. Then we're going to bring this line up and then back here. Now, right across from the eye over here, let's make a line that's going to come out, and then we're going to bring this down. And then starting right out here, let's make a line that's going to come out, and then we're going to bring this down. We're going to bring this line over, and we're going to come right over here, and we'll stop right underneath the eye. Then we're going to bring this line up and then down. Then we're going to bring this down here to make the bottom of the mouth. Now right back here, let's add a little line that comes down with a couple little lines in here. Now I want to add some teeth in here, but I want to draw the two of the bottom teeth first. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come up and down for a really big tooth, and then another one right here for another really big tooth. Then in between here, we'll put some smaller teeth, and then we'll put some small ones right along here, and then we'll put some small teeth right along here as well. Make lines comes up and in. We'll put some more teeth in here. We'll add a curved line in here for the tongue. We'll add a couple little lines down in here for the no nostrils. We'll make a little line comes down and over and another one here. Starting here, we're going to go down. We're going to come over. We'll bring this up and then curve it up for the jaw. Now starting here, let's bring a line that's going to come up, and then we're going to bring this down for the back of the head. Now this Titan's going to have some like frills going around its head. So we want, what we want to do is just add some lines that are going to come out and then back, some really long skinny ones. We'll make them a little bit longer as they go down. Then we'll bring these in just a little bit, making them a little bit smaller. Do that same thing up here, just come up and down. And we're just going to bring these out. Put another one coming down here. Then we just want to add a little line that connects them. Then we're going to add a little curved line inside each one just to connect them. Very similar to design that Warbat has, if you guys remember our Warbat drawings. And then I'm going to add one more right up here on the top. And we'll do another one on the top up here. Now let's move on to the body. So let's start right here. We'll add a couple little curved lines to start the neck. Then we're going to bring this line down and in. The arms are going to be kind of small. 
So we're just going to draw a line that's going to come down. And we'll bring it out at an angle. Curve this down to a point. We'll do another one here and one more right here. Then we're going to bring this up and then straight up. Next, we're going to bring this down and out. The line's going to curve down here. One more here, and then one right here. And we're going to bring this over and up. Now, right underneath the arm, let's continue this line down a little bit. And then we're going to want to put in the legs here. So let's start with the leg here. We're going to bring this line down. Make a line that's going to come down to a point and then over. Make another one that comes down to a point and up. And then we'll do one more over here. It's going to come down to a point and then up here. Next, we're going to bring this up and then kind of curve it. Now, for the next leg, let's go out at an angle, and then we're going to bring it down. Make lines going to come down here to a point and back, and then one smaller one right here, so we can see that's like the side of the foot. And we're going to bring this up and back here. Now, starting back here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down to form the back. And then we're just going to curve this over to about here. Then starting here, we're going to draw a little line or two up. And then we're going to make a line that's going to come down. And we're going to get a little bit skinnier as it comes back. Now, right here at the tail, we're going to make a line that's going to come out. We're going to come down to a point and then back. And we'll make another one that comes out to a point and then back up here. Now, we want to make the back of Mountainer right here. And his back is very kind of bumpy and scaly and kind of like almost armor plated a little bit. So to do this, we're going to draw some lines that are just going to kind of go up and then down. And we're going to do this all along here. We're just going to make some little bumps all across here. And we're just going to make them get a little bit smaller right down here. And we're going to do a few more. We're just going to kind of come up and down. And we're just going to kind of fill in some different areas with them, just to make it look really bumpy and kind of textured. And we'll do one more big one right here. Now right now we have our basic shape, and we want to come in here and add some of the different details. So let's begin by making some little broken lines kind of right around the mouth here. And then a couple more right along top of the head. Low line here, and a couple more here. We're going to add some little curved lines in here for claws. And then we'll add a couple more here. Next, we'll add a couple little lines right here. And a couple little broken lines right over here, too. Just kind of show where the knee is going to be. 
right along the legs and arms, go ahead and add some little curved lines in here to make some little wrinkles. And then we want to come in here and add some different broken lines right along the body here. These just kind of add a little bit of texture and detail. And we're just going to add some long little broken lines. You can make them go different ways if you want to, different directions. And then I'm going to make a long line that's going to come down here. It's going to go to the arm, then from the arm to the leg. And we're going to go from the leg down to here on the tail. And we're going to add some curved lines right across here. Give it like a scaly textured pattern under here. I want to bring these all the way down. They're even going to go and just add a couple little broken lines right along here. Just for a little bit of detail. A couple more up here. And then we're even going to add some little lines coming up here for some texture on these big bumps, this kind of armor plated here. So we're just going to add some right along here. And then even right inside here, I'm going to add a couple little extra lines for some detail. And there you go, there is your drawing of Mountainer. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.